Inside this video, I'd like to show you how to create a call to action for the advertisers link in the new YouTube in-stream ad format. All right, so this is probably the easiest one to set up out of all the calls to actions currently around. I'm gonna show you using the V-roll templates, one of the V-roll templates, how you can very easily do that. So if I hop over to my screen here, let me just quickly show you what this looks like. If I hit play here, you'll see it in action. There we go, so you'll see an arrow pointing towards the bottom left of the player. Now, just keep in mind here, this is for the desktop version. So yes, the advertisers link will work both on, on desktop as well as mobile and all devices in fact, but the links appear in different places. On mobile, it actually appears on the top right, the link is in the top right, and on desktop, it's the bottom left down there, this sort of thing, just to make things interesting. So these templates that I'm gonna show you for now is only for desktop. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you go through this. So that's what it looks like on desktop. We may create another, another type of template that'll point to the top right, but you probably have to run them as separate campaigns in any case. So inside V-Roll, that's what you do. You'd go and find whichever template you want uh, from the easy click uh, templates over here. We go ahead and select it and just go through that process and then set that up. It's actually really straightforward uh, to do. It's the most straightforward call to action at the moment. Of course, there are drawbacks with it. It's such a tiny link, um, but uh, you, know, it, you don't have to actually do anything else to make that link clickable. And what's beautiful is that it will get tracked inside AdWords. So in fact, when you set that up inside uh, either AdWords or using the, uh, the V-Roll interface, uh, this is what you'll have to do. Uh, in the V-Roll interface, you'll just go to Campaign Builder and you know go through the steps here where it says final url that is the actual url that'll get used for your advertisers link in the bottom left here it's not showing here because it's not run as an ad of course but that link there that comes up there or the top right for mobile that'll be the advertisers link uh, that you'll you know that's going to go in here that's your final url and same thing on uh, adwords you know you just when you create your ad and you put it in there let's say for example Let's grab this link here and let's just put it in there as an example. You can then, when you get to final URL, same thing there. This link here, the final URL link, will be used for the, this, they call it the display URL. They've got it all wrong. It's the advertisers link, really. <laughs> all right, so pretty simple to set up. You don't have to do anything else extra like annotations to be able to make that link clickable and trackable inside AdWords. Thanks for watching and I'll see you inside the next video. Bye-bye.